Mo, one of the things that you you pointed out in Scary Smart is uh, how we train our AIs, uh, the values that we instill in them because they're in their children in this growth mode will determine whether they're Superman or a supervillain. Uh, we have a lot of AIs being trained. We have a lot of uh, uh, competitive forces driving them as rapidly as possible. Uh, you've got Meta, you've got Google, you've got Microsoft separate from OpenAI, you've got Grok, you've got DeepSeek, you have, you know, a dozen, you know, Anthropic. Uh, do we have any sense that the values that they're being trained on will enable them to overcome and become a benevolent leader in a dozen years' time? Oh, that's a very, very, very complex question. So, so for, first of all, um, allow me to say that these are the shiny American AIs. Sure. Right. That that if you go to a uh, you know a, a, a different nation with a different mindset, I apologize for saying the C word. You know, China is mostly building AIs for uh, industrial automation. Okay, uh, supply chain management. Uh, you know, things that basically serve their economy. They're a manufacturing economy. So they're mostly doing that. And in, in a very interesting way, if, if you hear the, the, the few speakers that are allowed to speak publicly from them globally, you, you'll hear them saying, and, you know, things like deep seek is just to tell America to, you know, remember that everything that was ever produced in America as an, as an, a genius innovation was then scaled in China dirt cheap. Right. So so this trend is nothing new. Like if you're surprised that deep seek is a tenth of the price, where have you been when they've created, you know, made everything at a tenth of the price? Right now. So so in that sense, there are quite a few AIs that are actually only trained on a very benevolent objective. You know, help me with my supply chain, help me, you know, create more efficiency, help me make my workers safer and so on and so forth. That's number one. Number two is that in my mind, and I say that with a ton of respect, neither OpenAI nor, uh, 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 you know, uh, Grok or anyone actually has much influence left on the intelligence of their machines other than algorithmic improvements. So, so understand, and understand and remember that AI as, an, as, a, as a, an algorithmic intelligence is developed by the scientists, but as knowledge and opinions is, is completely influenced by the data fed to it, right? And we have fed almost all of human intelligence to them already, okay? Awesome. And so the, the, yeah, the beauty of... The beauty of generative is going to become really key, a key ingredient going forward is that the future of learning by those machines is not going to come from me, from a knowledge point of view, because I'm stupid compared to them, right? If you actually look at, you know, DeepSeek having so much uh, uh, open AI sense in it is because there is already so much open AI content that's generated by ChatGPT out on the open internet. They're teaching themselves this synthetic knowledge, just like we humans, you know, one of us listens to Einstein and then, you know, builds a little bit of a, a slightly different theory on top of it and, and so on, right? So, so we're getting into that stage. The only influence humanity will still have on the behavior of those machines has nothing to do with knowledge, right? Remember, however, that we don't make decisions based on our intelligence. We make decisions based on our ethics as informed by our intelligence, right? You, ra you raise a woman in the Middle East and she will wear more con con conservative clothing than if you raise her on the Copacabana beach in, in Rio de Janeiro, right? And, and you have to imagine that this is the only influence we have left. And that influence comes in the form of you and I dealing with those machines. You and I and everyone listening and everyone that deals with them, right? And I think the reality of the matter is, in my mind, if we were to show them ethics, right? Not control, by the way, remember, we always spoke about AI control as the or original target, then AI safety as the second target, then AI uh, alignment as the third target. And I always talk about ethics because even mm -hmm. alignment is not as far as ethics. Alignment is to tell the AI, help me find the cure to cancer. Ethics is 
find the best thing for me and everyone else and do it. And if that's cure for cancer, then by definition, you'll find that out on your own, right? Don't lie, don't cheat, don't kill, don't hurt. You know, sort of, you know, the opposite of the Asimov law laws is to say, by the way, be ethical and then you'll figure out your own laws. Now, I'll just close with one important sentence. Hmm? Believe it or not, my pure belief is that even is that if we manage to teach them ethics, we will reduce the intensity and the duration of the dystopia. Okay, but the dystopia sadly is, up, is upon us already, right? If we don't, hmm, by definition, higher intelligence is altruistic. So, so the, you, you know that every, all three of us worked with the most intelligent people on the planet, right? If you look at intelligence, you know, the chart looks like this. If you have no intelligence, you have no impact or negative impact on the planet, right? You have a bit more intelligence, your impact becomes a little positive. You have slightly more intelligence, you're now smart enough to be a political leader, but not smart enough to be able to talk to your enemies, okay? Mm. And that basically means that your impact on the planet becomes negative. Right now, if you talk to the smartest people on the planet who don't think that they need to cut corners to be able to succeed because intelligence helps them to solve problems very easily, they simply go like, why should I hurt anyone? Like I can build something new. I can make money out of thin air. All intelligent people know that. So they don't actually align with the negative. They align with altruistic objectives that basically say, I'll solve a big problems. And as a result, I'll make a lot of money. And, and you can see that if AI is more intelligent than us, they'll fall in that space too.